Hi, I'm Oscar Gomez. Welcome to my workshop. Candied oranges and lemons are delicious. And doing them at home means that you can control the process and you can also control the final product. For example, I like them a bit more moist than what you would get from a shop. And also I save a lot of wrapping. Um, you can use them in many preparations. I use them, for example, in Roscon de Reyes. I use them in uh, Stollen, in Lebkuchen, in Panettone and in hot cross buns. This recipe is valid. I'm going to do it in, with oranges, but it's also valid for lemons or mandarins. So I suggest that you try them at home. Let's roll. These are the ingredients that we need. Oranges. I recommend using organic oranges or non-treated oranges. You can also use this same recipe. It works as well for lemons and also for mandarins. Then we would need just some white sugar and some salt and water. I am slicing now my oranges. As you can see, I don't make them too thin because what I want to achieve is to preserve this nice, beautiful um, orange shape because I will use it for presentation. So this has been boiling now for 1 hour and 15 minutes and you see that almost all the water is gone. Now we are going to transfer this into these baking trays with parchment paper. Finally, it stayed two hours in the oven. I just turned the, the oranges uh, half, halfway and, uh, and here you can see the, the result. It's a nice um, shape of the orange is preserved. And now I simply store it in a glass container that will go in the fridge. And this will keep, look at this, beauty. this will keep for, let's say, yeah, at least, yeah, at least half of half year if you keep it in the fridge. So look, that is still a bit sticky, but it's exactly the way I want it. Because then if I use it, for example, for Roscon de Reyes, it will, it will keep still a bit moist and won't be too dry. Also these parts are perfect for, for uh, preparations like hot cross buns or, or stollen or even, or even panettone. So it is ready. Now cover with the lid and to the fridge. I hope that you like this candied oranges recipe. If you did, please smack the like button. If you have questions or comments to make, please put them under the comments section. 
Thank you for watching it and see you soon.